What's up YouTube, Jeff back again to another exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the generative AI image capabilities on One UI 6.1.1 versus the new Pixel Studio application that Google released with the Pixel 9 Pro, Pixel 9 Pro XL, and the Pixel Pro Fold 9, whatever it's called, should be the Pixel Fold 2. Uh, we're gonna talk about one distinct area where Samsung is leading the charge with this kind of generative AI technology in new smartphone OSs and one area that Google really needs to improve on. That's what we're gonna look at in this video. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. We have the turtle hanging out back here with us today. You guys can see. In fact, I can bring him into the frame here. Let's see, give him focus. He's a big guy, so he's sitting off there to the side today, but we always appreciate my son for giving you some cool toys and dinos to hang out in the video. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you go to our website, sammyguru.com. Uh, check back every day. We're covering the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials. Uh, we have full-time writers there now covering all the stuff. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten posts a day over there, including tutorials and reviews as well. Also, you can get in our mystery box program if you're in the U.S. If you're going to be buying Galaxy S25 Ultra or other S25 device, you can get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand. All you got to do is put in your phone number, your email, one or the other. You can put in both as well. Uh, you'll get a notification when the launch happens. We'll send you out a free box with those accessories. We cover the shipping. All you have to do is use our affiliate link at the time of purchase. That is how we pay for it and the shipping and all the items in there. Links in the pinned comment description if you're interested. So Pixel Studio, and of course over here we have the sketch to image feature. Let me just open up. I was working on some sketch to image stuff with my son over the weekend. Uh, he likes dinosaurs. I'm a terrible artist by the way, but uh, I was trying to draw some dinosaurs in some notes. He was just trying to play around while we were eating out of the restaurant. So this is the sketch to image. You can use sketch to image in various places. Uh, one place that I use it a lot is actually inside of the notes application, but you can also just access it directly from the menu here. So you can take, go right in there and just draw something if you want to, but notes is usually a place that I tend to utilize it a lot if I want to attach a sketch to a note. And like I said, playing around with my son. Now over here, the new application that Google's launched is called Pixel Studio. And essentially this lets you go a little bit further with sketched image you can basically draw something and then you can get the AI to turn that into an image for you. However, when it comes to Pixel Studio, you can just type in a description and it will give you an image that's generated with whatever you want. But there's one key difference between these two. They're both AI generation tools. Both of them have the ability to prevent the AI from generating human content that would be offensive or in the case of Galaxy AI's sketched image, if you want to take a photo of a person and you want to draw on their face or something like that or defile their photo, it won't allow you to do that. However, Samsung also does not allow you to give other graphic depictions, even involving like characters or alcohol or things like that. We've seen that from the very beginning. And in fact, to make sure that people know that these images are generated using AI, if you look down here in the bottom left corner, if I pick it up, you can see it a little bit better. If you look down here in the bottom left corner, you can see right there, it says AI generated content so that you know, and I'll just put this aside for a second because the fold I can kind of fit in the frame a little better so that you know that this is in fact something that was generated using AI. So um, with this content, it makes it really easy for you to determine if something was really created by an artist, a human artist, or if it's something that was interpreted. And this is even in the case of something that you're drawing, right? Because all you're doing when you're adding a note here, and like I said, I'm a terrible artist, so my art, my artistry is not that great, but you can see like if you go in here and let's say I cut this one out and I try to draw something else. Let me try to draw like a tree. I don't know, I'm not a great artist at all, but let's see if I draw a rough sketch, it tends to do a pretty good job. So here's a tree go up to sketched image and go ahead and trace around what it is that you want to imagine and hit generate and it's going to go ahead and do it for you. So it's pretty fast on sketched image. And in addition, like I said, and you see, it does a really good job of interpreting what you want. This is the watercolor option. You can change the, the style and stuff. And then obviously like the styles right here. So you can get like pop art, whatever you want, different styles. But Samsung does a great job of making sure you don't generate anything crazy. And also because you have to be able to draw it, it is actually harder for you to generate something crazy. 
and that watermark prevents people from believing that it could be the real thing. Well, that's not the case with Pixel Studio. Uh, I want to show you guys some examples of some pretty crazy stuff that I've I've been able to generate in Pixel Studio. So in here, they give you some various like places that you can kind of start from stuff. And you can kind of see various pieces, posters, magic castles. But then you can see your own files and here are my projects. So here's one that I talked about over on Twitter and X. Uh, you can see Pikachu, trying to tap it with the S Pen, I know I'm doing that. Pikachu promoting a vodka brand. So you can see it has no problem generating that piece of content. If you want Pikachu promoting a vodka brand, it will gladly do that for you. Um, some other ones I did, like these are not, these are just ones I played around with my son. But then there's another one down here I did, Bluey, the cartoon character. My son watches on Nickelodeon. Lots of kids like to watch Bluey, uh, promoting Bud Light. So you could get any brand character. And look how this is really realistic. And what you'll notice is you can create a sticker with this. You can save this image up here. There's no watermark on this photo. So comparing to this Galaxy Eye, which the watermark is faint. And in fact, in this particular photo I generated over here, you can't really see um, the watermark that well, but it is there. There's nothing over here. And lots of people actually on Reddit and other websites, they did even worse things with this. Um, I'll link to some examples. I don't want to put them in this video because then it'll get flagged and it won't get put out, but they did some pretty vile things. It seems like Google has refined the algorithm a little bit, but I definitely think they need to add a watermark and also maybe refine the algorithm. So some things like this, obviously Nintendo Pokemon company are not going to like that. Um, obviously people should be able to generate things freely, but when it's AI generated and it's also something that reflects poorly on Google, they want to rein this in kind of like Samsung has done over here. Now, just as a test and to be fair, uh, let me try to draw. I, I don't know. Let's, let's see if I can draw. I don't even know. I've never, I haven't tried this. I wanted to try it live. So I don't, uh, tell you something that's false. Like I said, I'm a terrible drawer, but let's see if I want to do vodka. And let's see if I can draw, I, like, a, let's try a Pikachu, uh, a yellow. I can't draw a Pikachu at all. This is going to be embarrassing, obviously. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Not Pikachu, but let's see if maybe... <laughs> I, I'm definitely not an artist. Hopefully I never lose my job here of doing YouTube. So, sketched image. Let's trace around this object and uh, let's see what it says. Can't generate with this content. So that just proves my point. Um, Samsung will not generate. This is not even something vile. I mean, I, you can't even know what this is. I guess it might think that this is a person too, um, but Samsung really errs on the side of caution with Galaxy Eye, whereas obviously Pixel Studio will let you get away with a lot of things. Um, a lot of these were innocent ones, but a lot of these advertising ones and like I said some more kind of vile and graphic things that other people have done but uh, hopefully Google is going to roll this out let me know what you guys think how should they change this is the watermark needed should they be as aggressive as Samsung happy to continue the conversation with you guys below I just wanted to share kind of my findings using Pixel Studio like comment subscribe hit the notification icon future videos like this again sammyguru.com check out the latest news stories reviews all that good stuff sign up for the mystery box program we do appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.